Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call the Wild, and today I bring you guys a little bit more info about the bugged great one that we got. So, with this recent patch for the Hunter Call the Wild that brought in the dogs along with a bunch of fixes and stuff to animals not arriving at their zones on time and a bunch of other good stuff like that, there was also something that was added that actually helped us out quite a bit, and that was the leaderboards. They made it so that they're working again and basically what the leaderboards do as of now is they just track your biggest of each animal I believe just the biggest harvest of each one which is a pretty cool stat to be able to see just to compare what your biggest is versus what your steam friends have for their biggest but not only is it used for that it also revealed something that I had already suspected to be the case and a lot of people had told me that it, this probably was the case but it showed that that level 5 that we got was indeed a bugged great one which a lot of us were already suspecting including myself and it turns out that it was a pretty big one too I'm gonna go ahead and throw a clip up right now of it to show you guys what it looks like in the leaderboard section of the codex and kinda how you guys can get there but as you guys can see on screen it shows that I killed a 643 scoring white tail deer which as we saw when I killed that level 5 it definitely was not a 643 scoring so that's even more confirmation that that was supposed to be a great one and not just any great one it would have been a big rat great one which is pretty disappointing and I know there's a few of you that in the last video that we did on this were wondering why I was even grinding for the great one if I knew that they were broken and well for this exact reason right here about a week and a half maybe two weeks after I ended up getting that bugged great one and posting the video on it the developers updated their bug fixes or their future bug fixes section in their discord and it now says that they're planning to have a fix rollout in one of the future patches to make it so whitetail that are over 100 kgs should always spawn as a great one which I don't know what has been keeping them from doing this in the past, but I'm just happy that they're finally fixing it. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a great one after this patch rolls out. I have no clue when it's going to be. As of now, they haven't said anything as to when we could see this coming into the game, but at least we now know that it was an issue and it is being fixed. But as I was saying, one of the biggest reasons as to why I continued grinding knowing that the great ones had a chance of being broke when they spawned in was exactly because of this I wanted even if we didn't get the great one to be able to provide some sort of information or proof that there was something wrong with them and it does seem like they have addressed it now or they're about to address it even though it sucks that we ended up getting screwed out of a great one essentially it's nice that it at least helped and showed everybody that it is something that can happen and this update that they pushed out recently with the dogs that added the leaderboards shows even further that that would have been a great one and I'm just super happy that it's getting fixed. I did go ahead and talk to one of the community managers and he said that there shouldn't be any reason why mine would turn into a great one whenever they do fix them. So unfortunately we're permanently stuck with a bugged great one but once this patch rolls out, any whitetail that are over 100 kg should finally register as great ones, which is awesome news. I'm happy that it's finally getting fixed, and you guys can guarantee that whenever this comes out, I'm going to be grinding the great one extremely hard. They've been acting a lot better recently, or I guess I should say the whitetail have been acting a lot better recently. They haven't been having as many respawn issues. They're not always respawning in the same herds, but I have actually been finding my bucks, which is pretty nice. You guys are seeing some footage from a quick grinding session that I did that took about 20 minutes uh, you should be seeing it in the background right now but it is nice to see that along with whitetail getting to their zones at the correct time now they also seem to be respawning they're just not necessarily respawning in the same herds which is slightly frustrating but I haven't had too many issues finding the locations that they're actually at which is honestly a lot better than a lot of people have done a lot of people have been having some major issues with whitetail I've been getting pretty lucky as of now 
but that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about as far as the whitetail go. There's a couple more things I wanted to real quickly go over. Uh, one, I am getting the next episode of Diamond with Every Gun prepared. We're at three of the four diamonds that I need for the video. I've had quite a few situations recently where I either didn't have a good gun on me for the series or just forgot about it and ended up shooting diamonds with guns we've already used so I couldn't include it in the series. But we are going to be uploading the next video in that series, hopefully within the next few days, if I can manage to find the last diamond for it. I've been getting trolled a lot the times that I have been actually finding stuff for it, and we've had some interesting kills for this next episode, so I'm pretty happy with what I've found so far, and I think you guys are really going to like the video once it comes out. Another thing that I wanted to say is I do have part two of the collaboration with Flinter will, that will be coming out super soon. I just need to get it edited and then it'll probably be out as the next video or the one after that, after this one goes out. I also got another stream highlights video that's pretty much ready. I think I've got enough clips finally to make that video, so expect a video to conclude our bison grind very very soon along with a few other cool kills that we got on live stream within the past couple weeks another thing is it does seem that the dogs are fixed when it comes to leveling up their tracking ability before as a lot of you found out they were bugging out whenever they'd hit level 15 instead of stopping at 15 where it was supposed to it would start a level 16 and then break the dogs completely to where they just wouldn't track anything and when they did want to track stuff it would be in slow motion but that's been fixed my dog is at level 15 and it hasn't gone past it it's been tracking perfectly honestly couldn't ask for anything more with the dogs they really are pretty awesome once they got the initial kinks worked out, they seem to be working pretty good. And I really do enjoy having them along with me. It makes things a lot easier, especially if I want to hunt with the tracks turned off like you guys have seen in a couple of the recent videos and live streams. But that's pretty much all that I wanted to go over in this video, guys. So I guess we're going to go ahead and end it there. But if you guys have not checked out the collaboration I did with Flinter, I'm going to leave a link to that in the top right of this video right now. Would highly recommend checking it out. We had an absolute blast hunting with the dogs with tracks turned off in multiplayer. And I got to say, it's one of the coolest ways to use the dogs. Having another player with you and watching them track in tandem is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in this game. So I would highly recommend checking that video out if you guys have not already. Also, I noticed quite a few of you never saw the the collaboration I did with DD33 so I'm gonna put that up there right now also be sure to check both of those out if you enjoy the content and have been wanting more collaborations because I know for some reason a lot of people didn't see either of those videos it's kind of strange but it seems YouTube doesn't recommend those as much I think if I remember right I read somewhere that it's to stop people from clickbaiting but I mean it hurts the videos where it's not clickbait so it's a little unfortunate but if you guys haven't seen those check them out also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new here i do post three to five videos a week and do daily live streams so be sure to stop by if you enjoy the content also be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below to let me know that you guys enjoyed the video it really does help the channel out a ton and i can't thank you guys enough I've been getting some awesome comments recently and I try to reply to as many of them as I possibly can. Obviously it's hard to reply to every comment but I do my best to get through as many of them as I possibly can or at least the most important ones. So with that being said guys, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!